Eliane Gluckman is deserving of the Culture Award. She influenced physicians and hematologists worldwide. She has revolutionized the field of hematology by performing the first cord blood transplant in the world. She has dedicated her life for the cause of others in a very profound way. She's a visionary. When I started medicine, hematology was unknown by the majority of the physicians. And at that time, the medium survival time for leukemia was six months. She always tried to find new solutions, new options, new way of treating patients. She is persistent. She knows what she wants. She performed the bone marrow transplant at the time when very few people were doing it in the world. I did my first transplant here in Paris. Results were not that great. So uh, I said, I have to improve. I went to Seattle to Don Thomas. And when I came back to France one year later, Jean Doucet and Jean Bernard asked me to start the first transplant unit in Europe. It was the beginning of everything discovering the field, discovering the way of doing things the right way, and also discovering a special relationship with patients. We were performing transplantation from all kinds of donors, such as matches related donor, unrelated donor, and of course, cord blood transplantation. I think she was the first to believe, uh, obviously, with our American colleagues, that cord blood transplant could have been an alternative source of stem cells. For many patients, we don't have any donors. There was a very important uh, doctor called Holbrachsmeyer. He saw that in the blood there was a lot of stem cells and he was able to collect cord blood at birth of siblings of patients with Fanconi anemia. Holbrachsmeyer called me and he said, what about in Paris? I said, oh, I think it's great. <laughs> I made the transplant and he is now more than 40 years after transplant, and is doing well. No complication, nothing. Dr. Gluckman understand that there was a need of uh, putting the effort together to develop this uh, technique, and uh, was one of the founder of the European Bone Marrow Transplantation Society. And inside this group, we started all the education. The European School of Hematology was a way to teach students and physicians all over the world. And it paved the way for more than 50 years now of constant improvement in the care of our patient. And Eurocord started as a group of physicians interested in the field of transplantation, not only in the clinical side, but also for the cord blood banks. The establishment of the registry really changed dramatically the history of cord blood transplant. And this was done only thanks to her vision. So now we have more than 10,000 uh, cord blood transplants. We are still in cord blood transplants, but also for sickle cell patients. It's the reason why I went to sickle cell disease, because it was an unmet need. And the first 40 patients we transplanted here, 90% survival. You cannot dream better. I think in the hematology field, you have to really understand science, but never forgetting to be human and to be simple and to look at the patients and say, I want to cure you. My family actually met Dr. Gluckman uh, in France when I was about five years old and I was just being diagnosed with Franconi anemia. Dr. Glückman was very direct with my parents and told them the whole picture. And I think that feeling of, um, we are all with you and we're going to make the best we can so that it goes well, uh, that definitely helps me to go through that. She was always trying to find a good word, uh, always being reassuring, always being very close to parents and kids. She's very talented in everything, not only in science and medicine, but she's also uh, very interested in every aspect of the world and the mountains, climbing. Lots of people love mountains because it represents the parallel with the daily life. And the feeling of freedom that you have in mountains that definitely helps you uh, think better. She spent years climbing 
mountains that nobody climbed before. Why do you climb mountains to look beyond what is beyond the mountain? And it's the same in science. Mr. Coulter was a brilliant inventor and visionary who revolutionized the entire field of hematology. Like Mr. Coulter, Madame Gluckman, she was always ahead of her time and she has done so many things for patients uh, in hematology. Dr. Gluckman is an exceptional person and a really exceptional doctor. I am proud because I think that I have advanced the field of hematology and that I helped some patients to survive, which is a good goal. I would like to thank the Coulter Foundation and Ash for this honor. <laughs>